My background with adult ICU, I think, was one of the biggest um, motivators to go back and just, I just felt like a responsibility um, to help out. We had nurses from Riley that, um, you know, didn't have adult experience, but, um, you know, wanted to be there to help. And um, just everyone had a great attitude and just hard workers and, um, you know, willing to do, to learn quickly and do whatever it took to take care of those patients. I was just blown away by all the, all the nurses, like regardless of their ICU experience, who just, you know, we have this scary disease that we don't know a whole lot about. And just all, the number of nurses that stepped up and said, like, I will take care of you um, was just one of the most like inspiring things to me. So my, um, my grandpa tested positive for COVID um, and his symptoms just started to develop quickly and he went to the ER and ended up on the ventilator um, at Methodist. So, um, you know, I've never, I've never been on the family member side of the ICU experience. So that was, that was really scary. It was definitely um, like a huge motivator for me. There are shifts that were just so busy and family would call and want to talk to their family member. And um, it definitely pushed me to be like, okay, like this is, this is a priority. As long as the patient's safe, I need to make this happen um, and other things can wait. So um, that, that really changed how I thought about my patients and made the, the family part much more important, especially while their families can't be there. Every night I came to work and you meet a new person um, just with all sorts of different backgrounds who, who want to learn, who want to jump in and want to help fight COVID in Indianapolis. And that was amazing. Mm -hmm.